Good afternoon, everyone. My message today and what I've been thinking, I, I, I can go back to public education. I can go back to public educators, teachers, school counselors, administrators, you know, every other stakeholder that plays a major role in the day-to-day -day operation of public education, private education, no matter what it is. You know, and I sit back and I listen to how a lot of politicians, how a lot of people, parents, families, so many different people say so many different negative things about public educators. And what people fail to realize what educators had to embrace and take on when the pandemic hit and, and the whole United States shut down, schools shut down just like that. Educators had, you know, superintendents, associate superintendents, people at the higher level, even colleges, universities, no matter where they are, two-year college, technical college, no matter, had to develop a plan, a COVID plan, on how you're going to better serve students. And that caused so much stress. You know, I look at my wife, I look at other educators, I look at myself. We all have had to overcome so many different obstacles this year and to, to find ways to serve students. So as a parent, so even as an educator, people should be able to look at educators from a different point of view right now because every school district found ways to serve students. Now, I've heard parents, I've heard, like I said, community members, so many you know, people in politics, so many people say so many negative things about educators. But now people are seeing that everything what an educator has to do. Parents are seeing things from the lens and the eyes of an educator on how they have to take 25 to 35 students in a classroom and to get them on the same page, to teach them the content to get them prepared to take map tests, all type of different tests, you know, benchmark assessments that every district has so many different ones to take. You know, you have state testing and people want to compare those numbers, but everybody should just look at the work that educators have done in terms of planning, in terms of revising their, you know, scope and sequence on how they're going to serve students, how they're going to serve students socially, emotionally, how you're going to provide meals and, and opportunities for these kids to get different services that they would not get from a day-to-day -day operation because of the pandemic that students are missing. Yes, schools have been back in place five days a week. Some school districts are going back five days a week. But this pandemic has set so many different students back. And I just want to tell every educator, my faculty, my staff, and every educator around the world, thank you for the work that you have done because this has been some trying times and it make you question what is what in the world is going on with public education or what is going on and how people view public educators. But the thing is, the work that you do each and every day is going to make a huge difference. Students going to be better for, it. you know, we all as educators going to be better for. It. You know, I have this quote up on my wall today, motivation and vision is the starting point of your life. But then in intestinal fortitude that you have in you, that drive you have in you to serve and to help and to make a difference, you know, speaks volumes for who you are as an educator, speaks volumes for who you are as a person. It speaks to your morals, your values, and what you want to accomplish and what you want your students to accomplish each and every day. Man, it, it, it's so humbling to see educators, especially when I walk down my hallway and I see the teachers are teaching virtually. I see them communicating with the students. I see them bringing the students in to help them from a social distance standpoint. You know, trying to give families opportunities to, you know, get some resources that they need. And, you know, thankful for, you know, the, the systems that are in place that are trying to revamp and change and do different things to help serve people. But I just want everybody to understand, man, the work that educators have to put in each and every day, man, you should understand it's not a difficult job. And for me being in the position I am as a principal, director of virtual, of virtual program, man, I wish everybody would value their teachers. I wish everybody around the world, you know, that is not in public education would value teachers. Because, you know, even this whole country, I wish you would serve your educators like how you would serve a CEO. Because the work that educators do and what they teach students 
That's why CEOs are in positions that they're in now because they had a teacher. You should love and you should respect every teacher that walk inside a building. Is everybody perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. Do I, we all fall short. But to be an educator, man, should be a top priority for this country to serve educators, to serve teachers, to serve administrators, to serve social workers, guidance counselors, therapists, you know, superintendents, associate superintendents, HR directors that work, you know, student services that work, you know, accountants, everybody that work and serve in public education, private school, well, no matter what it is, man, these students are the future. And educators who are put in position to serve these kids, to teach these kids, you know, to, to love on them, to nurture them, should be respected at the highest level. So me personally, from one educator to the next, man, I love you, I care for you, I want you to serve, and I want you to be the best educator that you can be. But as we continue to expand and grow each and every day as an educator, man, our number one priority is to look at those precious children and say, you know what, we're going to put these kids in a position so they can be a CEO, so they can run the country, so they can be a, con a colonel or somebody in the military. They can be an entrepreneur. They can be the next teacher. They can be the next principal. They can be the next superintendent. You know, they can be the next human resource manager. And they can always go back and think and be, and be appreciative of the work that educators have done. So I thank you all. Enjoy your weekend. Please be safe. And continue to love on each other. Continue to serve one another. And one thing I would tell you, everybody, value and love your educators. Thank you.